Book Summary by Teddy Bear Storytime Ripley Underwater is the fifth and final novel in Patricia Highsmith's acclaimed Ripley Ad series. Published in 1991, this novel brings Tom Ripley's story full circle, exploring themes of guilt, paranoia, and retribution. Highsmith delves deeper into Tom's psychological landscape, examining how his past misdeeds continue to haunt him. Set in the tranquil French countryside, the story contrasts Ripley's seemingly idyllic life with the dark undercurrents of his criminal past catching up to him. Characters Tom Ripley, the sophisticated, a moral protagonist who has built a life of comfort and deception. Heloise Plisson Ripley, Tom's wealthy and unsuspecting wife. David Pritchard, an intrusive American neighbor who becomes obsessed with uncovering Tom's past. Janice Pritchard, David's supportive but equally curious wife. Madame Annette, the Ripley's loyal housekeeper. Ed Banbury, Tom's old acquaintance from the criminal underworld. Bernard Tufts, a troubled artist connected to Tom's past crimes. Book Summary An Uneasy Piece Tom Ripley is living a life of leisure in his estate in Villepierce, France, enjoying the tranquility and beauty of the countryside. Despite his apparent contentment, Tom is always slightly on edge, aware that his past could catch up with him at any moment. His wife, Heloise, is oblivious to his dark history, and Tom works hard to keep it that way. The couple's peaceful existence is disrupted when David and Janice Pritchard, a curious American couple, move into the neighborhood. David, an amateur detective, becomes fascinated by Tom, setting the stage for a conflict that will challenge Tom's carefully constructed facade. Unwelcome curiosity. David Pritchard's curiosity quickly turns into an obsession. He begins to dig into Tom's past, uncovering hints of his involvement in various crimes, including forgery and murder. Tom, sensing the threat, tries to charm and dissuade David, but his efforts only fuel David's determination. This chapter delves into the psychological chess game between Tom and David, as Tom uses his wit and cunning to try to neutralize the threat without resorting to violence. Tension mounts. As David's investigations continue, Tom's paranoia grows. He becomes increasingly suspicious and anxious, realizing that his past misdeeds are coming to light. The tension between the two men escalates, affecting Tom's relationships with Heloise and their friends. David's relentless pursuit of the truth puts everyone on edge, and Tom starts to make mistakes. This chapter explores the psychological toll of living under constant scrutiny and the lengths Tom will go to protect his secrets. The Confrontation The situation reaches a boiling point when David confronts Tom with evidence of his past crimes. Tom, feeling cornered, initially tries to deny everything, but David's persistence forces him to take drastic action. In a tense and gripping scene, Tom manages to turn the tables on David, using his cunning to outmaneuver him. However, this confrontation leaves Tom shaken and more paranoid than ever. The reader sees the cracks in Tom's composure as he grapples with the reality of his situation. The Descent Tom's victory over David is short-lived. The stress and paranoia take a significant toll on his mental state. He becomes increasingly isolated, withdrawing from Heloise and their friends. His behavior becomes erratic, and he starts to see threats everywhere. This chapter delves into Tom's descent into madness, showing how the constant fear of being exposed drives him to the brink. His once impeccable control begins to slip, revealing the vulnerability beneath his charming exterior. The Resolution In a desperate bid to regain control, Tom takes one final, drastic step to eliminate the threat posed by David. The plan is fraught with danger and moral ambiguity, highlighting Tom's willingness to do whatever it takes to protect his life and secrets. The resolution is both satisfying and unsettling, as Tom manages to secure his position once again, but at a significant cost. This chapter is a masterclass in suspense and psychological drama, showing Highsmith's skill in creating tension and moral complexity. Aftermath and Reflection With the immediate threat eliminated, Tom tries to return to his life of comfort and leisure. 
However, the events have left a lasting impact on him. He reflects on the choices he has made and the life he has built, recognizing the fragility of his existence. The novel ends on a somber note, with Tom contemplating the future and the ever-present possibility that his past will catch up with him again. This chapter underscores the themes of guilt, paranoia, and the high cost of a life built on deceit. Themes Guilt and Paranoia The novel explores how Tom's past crimes continue to haunt him, creating a constant state of paranoia and fear of exposure. Identity and Deception Highsmith examines the duality of Tom's life, showing how he balances his charming exterior with his dark, criminal past. Moral Ambiguity The characters operate in a world of moral grey areas, where right and wrong are not clearly defined. The Impact of the Past The narrative highlights how past actions and decisions can shape the present and future, often in unexpected ways. Isolation and Desperation the novel delves into the psychological effects of isolation and the lengths to which individuals will go to protect themselves. Analysis Narrative style, Highsmith's third-person narrative provides an intimate look at Tom's psychological state, creating a sense of tension and suspense. Character complexity, Tom Ripley is portrayed as a deeply complex character, balancing charm and ruthlessness, making him both fascinating and unsettling. Suspense and Tension The novel maintains a high level of suspense, particularly through the psychological conflict between Tom and David. Moral Ambiguity Highsmith challenges readers to question their own moral judgments through the actions and decisions of the characters. Setting and Atmosphere The serene French countryside contrasts with the dark, psychological tension of the story, enhancing the novel's themes. Conclusion Ripley Underwater by Patricia Highsmith is a fitting conclusion to the Ripley ad series, offering a deep and thrilling exploration of guilt, paranoia, and retribution. Highsmith's masterful narrative and complex character development make this novel a compelling read, filled with psychological tension and moral ambiguity. Tom Ripley's journey through a web of deception and self-preservation is both fascinating and disturbing, leaving readers to ponder the consequences of a life built on lies. Highsmith's ability to maintain suspense and create morally complex characters solidifies Ripley Underwater as a classic in the psychological thriller genre. The End Love the book summary. Subscribe Teddy Bear's Storytime YouTube channel now. Like the video. Turn on the notifications. And leave your comments. See you in next book.